home for two reds. Are you in, Steve? Oh, all right. What did you open for, Jack? Two reds. I'll stay. I'll stay. Cards, gentlemen? Me too. Steve? Dollar. I'll take four. Four. <laughs> one, please. Play one, Tom. <laughs> Your bet, Jerry. I bet. Two blues. Are you raising, Steve? Raising? No, no. no. Uh, two is the bet. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> two blue. I'm oh, out. It's too rich for me. Three aces. Beats me. Well, I'm afraid I... Uh... I drew four jacks. You drew four jacks? Yeah, I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> Do you care to explain, Mr. Beckley? <laughs> Gentlemen, I, I, I swear I'm not used to going around with cards in my dinner jacket. I, I don't know... Came flying out of the sleeve. <laughs> Charlie, did you rig my coat? Me? I didn't think of it. <laughs> we made a great little impression. I'll bet you Polly won't even speak to me. Boy, well, first chip in the poodle, and then Dad being accused of being a golf hustler and a card cheat. <laughs> I got along fine. So I spilled a couple of cocktails. So. <laughs> This isn't my wallet. This isn't my coat. Who's ringing this time of the night? Probably the Bunko Squad. Yes. <laughs> oh, uh, come in, gentlemen. We brought back your coat. With our apologies. Uh, your wallet's in the inside pocket. Oh, thanks. Uh, this coat I've been wearing with all the aces in it belongs to uh, somebody by the name of uh, Henshaw, whoever he is. Well, he was a professional card sharp who's been hanging around the club. Oh. Yeah, he came back for his coat. Well, I'm glad to hear that. For a while there, I didn't even trust myself. <laughs> Won't you come in and sit down? No, thanks. We've got to get right back. Steve, as chairman of the membership committee, I'd like to co-sponsor you with Jerry. I know you and your family would be a great addition to the club. Hey, how great. Well, that's very nice of you both. We had a wonderful time out there, Jerry, but uh, I think we'd better just leave it at that. Is it because you're annoyed at being suspected, Steve? No. I promised Rob to go as your guest because, uh, well, it seemed to mean a lot to him. Actually, I'm out of town so much traveling that uh, I really wouldn't get a chance to use the club enough to make it worth my while to join. Maybe sometime later. Well, I'll call you one of these days and we'll have another round of golf. Fine. Jim. That is, if you'll promise to be my partner. <laughs> <laughs> Our loss, Steve. Good night, Doc. Thank you. Well, thank you, Dad. Now what am I going to do about my swimming day with Polly? Ask her to come over and turn the sprinklers on her? Hey, take her to the park. The city plunge. Oh, that's a great idea. Steve, I must say you could have said something sooner about not really planning to join the club. Sooner? What? I wasted two hours pressing my golf sneakers. <laughs> you should have burned them.